Greetings, YouTube. I don't tend to talk about libertarians a whole lot on my channel. Um, I have absolute and utter disdain for the political movement, mostly because I don't consider it to be a legitimate political movement. Um, I consider it to be a religion. The, the idea that you throw enough money at the wealthy and somehow you will become a member of their elite, that if you remove all the rails and guide, ra guide rails and safety features of an entire society so that the folks in charge are just the capitalists, are just the moguls, are, are just the Plutarchs, that somehow that is the best possible concept that can be achieved. And of course, every single libertarian believes that they're going to be amongst that elite number. Uh, they're, they don't think they're going to be part of the cogs of the machinery that will very quietly grind everybody else into dust. No, no, to, to every libertarian, they are, you know, a, a mildly embarrassed billionaire. They are going to be wealthy really soon, and they're going to be among the, uh, the elite in no time at all. Um, but do we really want a system where, say, for example, eight guys have more wealth than 3.6 billion people. And I wish I was making that up. But into the libertarian worldview, that's perfectly normal. It is perfectly acceptable that the elites who have acquired their wealth, um, I say acquire, and big, big quotation marks, um, is perfectly allowed. It doesn't matter in the process who they exploited, because in the eyes of libertarianism, um, if you don't abdicate for yourself and if you haven't you know made sure that you're not being exploited it's your own damn fault well, then that's not how it works in the real world if you try to sue a corporation and you can afford a lawyer while the corporation can fund a hundred lawyers who do you think is going to win and of course the percentage of your wealth that has to pay for one lawyer is significantly larger than the percentage of the wealth of a great corporation who's paying a hundred lawyers. You will lose. The times when you won't are going to be very rare. So in a system founded on suing people, the little guy is always going to lose. The little guy will be crushed if they're still around because under a libertarian system, there are no safety rails. Remember that they're all gone and you don't like the system. You sue somebody over it not taking into account that that is not going to work. It's just fantasy. It is a religion. And I say this as a theist. Um, so I don't argue with libertarianism a lot. However, a guy named Mark Duke, and I don't, I think it's Duke. It's D-U-Q-U-E. I think that's Duke or Duque. Is it Duque? I don't know how to say his name. But he has leaked some information about some of the folks within the actual efficient libertarian national convention who are now adhering to some really twisted and warped far right political policies, such as, you know, anti-immigration and of course an absolute disdain and, dis and, and, and hatred towards the LGBTQ community, which I don't understand because in a libertarian utopia, your gender or your orientation should have no bearing whatsoever on anything because that isn't a fungible asset. Who cares? How you spend your money, and lots of libertarians love the idea of legal weed and prostitution, um, is something that they really love. They also like the idea of there having no things like ages of consent. That's popped up more than once amongst the libertarian crowd, which is disturbing. Um, but there have been a segment of folks in the Libertarian Party who have always adhered to the extremes. And again, why? Because the people in power are almost always conservative. The people in power have gotten there because they are part and parcel of white nationalism, of white supremacy, of the patriarchy that has established its power in the world. And so long as they can continue to perpetuate that power through patriarchal and white nationalist means, they will be able to maintain and increase their power, their wealth, their ability to exploit and harm others in a manner that benefits them. And libertarians are willing to fall to their knees and genuflect in their direction 
and throw them their resources and their political might, all in an effort of hoping if they pray hard enough, if they crawl long enough, if they bleed enough blood, while they crawl through their pilgrimage towards that capitalist golden calf, that they will be allowed to be amongst the elites, which they won't. But in the process, they are useful fools. And it helps the folks in charge who love the concept of libertarianism. Not because they consider it a religion, but because it's really useful as a tool to maintain and acquire more power. So I have nothing but absolute disdain for the for, for libertarians. I have often thought that while the traditional American conservatives on the GOP side are absolute evil, they are a terrorist organization. I personally feel every Republican politician should really be in prison. Um, it's almost as though libertarians are worse because it's infected them so deeply. It's stopped being political in the least and it's become just a religion, which is why I don't argue about it much because it's pointless. As soon as I get into a conversation with somebody on, on, on YouTube and it happens many times and I begin to get a whiff of the fact that they're libertarians, I ask them straight out, do you go libertarian? And if they say yes, I say, okay, okay, you have a nice day. I apologize for wasting your time. I walk away. Because there is no argument with it. It's pointless. I'm not going to argue with someone who tells me, you know, that their faith is better than mine because it's pointless. If they believe it, okay, what do I care? You know, that has no bearing, no bearing on my life whatsoever. I'm not going to tell somebody my faith is better than theirs because I don't need to. I don't give a crap. I don't think in those terms. Now, I can tell you straight up if I think that your political views are better or worse than mine. And if you're a member of the Libertarian Party or the GOP, your political beliefs are worse than mine. Because I actually believe that, you know, everyone is deserving of human rights and civil liberties. Something that libertarians and the far right don't. Yeah. So I'm going to link to that article uh, with this Mark Duke or Duque or however the hell you say his name, who has been nice enough to leak some information to the public about these machinations being conducted by um, the far right aspects of the LNC, uh, the Libertarian National Convention, uh, Committee. So, yeah, our convention, I can't remember which, which one of that is. Um, so, yeah, go give it a, a peek. And uh, if you've encountered libertarians in the real world, um, I'd like to hear 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 some about it now. Also, how much of an overlap is there between libertarians and sovereign citizens? Is that is that Venn diagram a circle? 